First Chronicles chapter 1 From Adam to Abraham Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tyrus, the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Togmar, the sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Radanim, the sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan, the sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, Septa, Rama, and Septeca, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush fathered Nimrod. He was the first on earth to be a mighty man. Egypt fathered Ludim, Anamim, Lahabim, Naphtuim, Pathrusim, Kasluhim, from whom the Philistines came, and Kaphtorim. Canaan fathered Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusites and the Amorites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, the Archites, the Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zemurites, and the Hamathites, the sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arshpashad, Lud, and Aram, and the sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, and Meshech. Arpachshad fathered Selah, Shelah, and Shelah fathered Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan fathered Amadad, Shalapheth, Hazamarveth, Jera, Hadoram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. Shem, Archipashad, Shela, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Sarug, Nahor, Terah, Abram, that is, Abraham. From Abraham to Jacob. The sons of Abraham, Isaac and Ishmael. These are the genealogies, the firstborn of Ishmael, Neboath, and Kedar, Adbeel, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Massa, Hadad, Tima, Jetur, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Shebor, Zimran, Jokshan, Midan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua, the sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan, the sons of Midian, Epha, Epher, Hanok, Abida, and Elda. All these were the descendants of Keturah. Abraham fathered Isaac, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel, the sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ruel, Josh, Jalem, and Korah, the sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatim, Kenaz, and of Timnah, Amalek, the sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah, the sons of Seir, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishan, the sons of Lotan, Hori, and Hamim, and Lotan's sister was Timnah, the sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. The sons of Zibion, Aya and Anna, the son of Anna, Dishon, the sons of Dishon, Hamdan, Ashban, Ithran, and Cheran, the sons of e Ezer, Bilhan, Zavan, and Achan, the sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. These are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the people of Israel. Bela, the son of Beor, the name of his city being Dinhaba. Bela died, and Jobab, the son of Zerah, and Basra reigned in his place. Jobab died, and Hushem of the land of the Timonites reigned in his place. Hushem died, and Hadad, the son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, reigned in his place, the name of his city being Avith. Hadad died, and 
Simla, Samla of Maskara reigned in his place. Samla died, and Shal of Rehoboth on the Euphrates reigned in his place. Shal died, and Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, reigned in his place. Baal Hanan died, and Hadad reigned in his place, the name of the city being Pi, and his wife's name was Mahatabel, the daughter of Matrid, the daughter of Mezhab, Mezahab, and Hadad died. The chiefs of Edom were chiefs Timna, Alda, Jephthah, Oholibama, Elah, Pinon, Kenaz, Timan, Mibzar, Magdiel, and Iram. These are the chiefs of Edom. First Chronicles chapter 2 The Genealogy of David These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Ur, Onan, Shelah, these three, Bathshua, the Canaanite bore to him. Now Ur, Judah's firstborn, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he put him to death. His daughter-in-law, Tamar, also bore him Perez and Zerah. Judah had five sons in all. The sons of Perez, Hezron and Hamul. The sons of Zerah, Zimri, Ethan, Heman, Calco, and Dara, five in all. The son of Carmi, Achan, Achan, the troubler of Israel, who broke faith in the matter of devoted thing. And Ethan's son was Azariah. The sons of Hezron that were born to him, Jerahamil, Ram, and Chalubai. Ram fathered Aminadab, and Aminadab fathered Nashon, prince of the sons of Judah. Nashon fathered Simon, Salmon fathered Boaz, Boaz fathered Obed, Obed fathered Jesse, Jesse fathered Eliab, his firstborn, Abinadab the second, Shemaiah the third, Nathaniel the fourth, Rede the fifth, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh. And their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail, the sons of Zeruiah, Abishai, Joab, and As Asahel. Three. Abigail bore Amasa, the father of Amasa was Jether the Ishmaelite. Caleb, the son of Hezron, fathered children by his wife Azubah and by Jerioth, and these were her sons. Jeshur, Shobab, and Arden. When Azubah died, Caleb married Ephrath, who bore him her. Her fathered Uri, and Uri fathered Bezalel. Afterward, Hezron went in to the daughter of Matur, the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was sixty years old, and she bore him Segub. And Segub fathered Jer, who had twenty-three cities in the land of Gilead. But Geshur and Aram took from them Havoth Jer, Kenneth, and its villages, sixty towns. All these were descendants of Matur, the father of Gilead. After the death of Hezron, Caleb went in to Ephrathath, the wife of Hezron, his father, and she bore him Ashur, the father of Tekoa. The sons of Jeramiel, the firstborn of Hezron, Ram, his firstborn, Buna, Oren, Ozem, and ah Ahijah. Jeramiel also had another wife whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onam. The sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeramiel, Mez, Jamin, and Eker. The sons of Onam, Shammai, and Jada. The sons of Shammai, Nadab, and Ab Abishur. The name of Abishur's wife was Abahel, and she bore him Ab Aban and Mulid. The sons of Nadab, Selad and Apam, and Selad died childless. The sons of Apam, Ishi, the son of Ishi, Sheshan, the son of Sheshan, Ali, the sons of Jada, Shammai's brother, Jether and Jonathan, and Jether died childless. The sons of Jonathan, Peleth and Zaza, these were the descendants of Jeremiel. Now Sheshan had no sons, only daughters. But Sheshan had an Egyptian slave whose name was Jarha. So Sheshan gave his daughter in marriage to Jarha, his slave, and she bore him Atai. Atai fathered Nathan, and Nathan fathered Zabad. Zabad fathered Ephlal, and Ephlal fathered Obed. Obed fathered Jehu, 
and Jehu fathered Azariah. Azariah fathered Helez, and Helez fathered Eliash. Elashsha. Elasha fathered Sisme, and Sisme fathered Shalem. Shalem fathered Jechemiah, and Jechemiah fathered Elishama. The sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel. Mersha, his firstborn, who fathered Ziph, the son of Mersha, Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tapua, Rechem, and Shema. Shema fathered Raham, the father of Jorkim, and Rechim fathered Shammai, the son of Shammai, Mo, Maon, and Maon fathered Beth Zur. Ephath, Caleb's concubine, bore Haran, Moza, and Gazaz, and Haran fathered Gazaz, the sons of Jadai, Regem, Jotham, Geshen, Pelet, Ephath, and Shaph. Mekah, Caleb's concubine, bore Sheber and Turhana. She also bore Shaph, the father of Madmena, Sheva, the father of Mechbena, and the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Aksa. These were the descendants of Caleb. The sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, Shobal, the, the father of Kiriath Jerim, Salma, the father of Bethlehem, and Harath, the father of Beth Garder. Gadder. Shobal, the father of Kiriath Jerim, had other sons, Haroi, half of the Menuhoth, and the clans of Kiriath Jerim, the Ithrites, the Perthrites, the Shumarites, and the Mishrites. From these came the Zorathites and the Eshtaolites, the sons of Salma, Bethlehem, the Netophalites. Atroth, Beth, Joab, and half the Menethites, the Zorites. The clans also of the scribes of who lived in, at Jabez, the Tirathites, the Shimeathites, and the Sukathites. These are the Kenites who came from Hamath, the father of the house of Rechab. First Chronicles chapter 3, Descendants of David. These are the sons of David who were born to him in Hebron, the firstborn Amnon by Ahinoam, the Jezreelite, the second, Daniel, by Abigail, the Carmelite, the third, Absalom, whose mother was Mekah, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur, the fourth, Adonijah, whose mother was Haggith, the fifth, Shephtha Shephatiah, by Abital, his sixth, Ithrim, by his wife, Egla. Six were born to him in Hebron, where he reigned for seven years and six months, and he reigned thirty-three years in Jerusalem. These were born to him in Jerusalem. Shemia, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. Four by Bethshua, the daughter of Amiel. Then Ibhar, Elishama, Eliphalet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphalet. Nine. All these were David's sons besides the sons of the concubines, and Tamar was their sister. The son of Solomon was Rehoboam, Abajai his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, Josiah his son, the sons of Josiah, Johanan the firstborn, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalom. The descendants of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, Zedekiah his son, and the sons of Jeconiah the captive, Shealtiel his son, Malcherem, Pedariah, Shenazazar, Jechemiah, Hoshima, and Nedabiah, and the sons of Pedariah, Zerubbabel, and Shimei, the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah, and Sh Shalosmith, Shalomith was her sister, and Hashubaba, Ohel, Berachiah, Hasadiah, and Jushabesh, five. The sons of Hananiah, Palatiah, and Jeshahiah, his son, Rephaiah, his son, Armin, his son, Obadiah, his son, Shechaniah, the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hatush, Egel, Beria, Neria, and Shaphat, six. 
the sons of Neriah, Elioenna, Hezkiah, and Azrikam. Three, the sons of Elioni, Hodaviah, Eliashib, Pelali, Akub, Jonathan, Delilah, and Ar Anani. Seven. First Chronicles chapter four, descendants of Judah. The sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Reniah, the son of Shobal, fathered Jahath, and Jahath fathered Ahumai and Lahad. These were the clans of the Zoratites. These were the sons of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. And the name of their sister was Hazalelponi. And Penuel fathered Gedor, and Ezer fathered Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathath, the father of Bethlehem, Asher, the father of Tekoa, and two wives, Hela and Nera. Nera bore him Ahuzam, Hafer, Temani, and Hahashtari. These were the sons of Nera, the sons of Hela, Zareth, Izhar, and Ethman. Kaz fathered Anub, Zobabah, and the clans of Aharel, the sons of Haram. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain, Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from harm, so that it might not bring me pain. And God granted what he asked. Chelub, the brother of Shuha, fathered Mehir, who fathered Eshton, Eshton fathered Beth Rapha, Paseah, and Tehenna, the father of Ernanash. These are the men of Rekah, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel and Sariah, and the sons of Othniel, Hathoth and Meonathai. Meonathai fathered Ophrah, and Sariah fathered Joab, the father of Giharashim, Gi so called because they were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Iru, Elah, and Naim, and the son of Elah, Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel, Ziph, Zipha, Tiria, and Azarel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Merid, Epher, and Jalon. These are the sons of Bithai, the daughter of Pharaoh, whom Merid married, and she conceived and bore Miriam. Shammai and Ishba, the father of Ishtamoa, and his Judahite wife bore Jared, the father of Gedor, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zanoah. The sons of his wife of Hadoah, the sister of Natham, were the fathers of Kila, the Garmite, and Eshtamoa, Esht the Makathite. The sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rina, Benhanan, and Tilon. The sons of Ishi, Zohath, and Ben Zohath, the sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, Ur, the father of Lecha, Leda, the father of Mersha, and the clans of the house of linen workers at Beer, Beth Ashbia, and Jochim, and the men of Kozaba, and Joash, and Saraph, who ruled in Moab, had returned to Lethem. Now the records are ancient. These are the potters who were inhabitants of Natam and Gedera. They lived there in the king's service. Descendants of Z Simeon The sons of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jerob, Zerah, Shal, Shalom was his son, Mibsam was his son, Mishma his son. The sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zachar his son, Shimei his son. Shimei had sixteen sons and da six daughters, but his brothers did not have many children, nor did all their clan multiply like the men of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bilha, Ezem, Tolad, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susim, Beth Biri, and Shiraim. These were the cities until David reigned, and their villages were Etam, Ain, Rimon, Tokchen, and Ashen, five cities, along with all their villages that were around these cities as far as Baal. These were their settlements, and they kept a genealogy, genealogical record. Meshobab, Jamlak, Joash, the son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, the son of Joshabiah, son of Sariah, 
son of Asael, Ilioanai, Jacobah, Jeshobhiah, Asahiah, Adiel, Jesamiel, Benahiah, Ziza, the son of Shiphi, son of Alon, son of Jedidiah, Jediah, son of Shimri, son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by name were the princes in their clans, and the fathers' houses increased greatly. They journeyed to the entrance of Gedor, to the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks where they found rich, good pasture, and the land was very broad, quiet, and peaceful, for the former inhabitants there belonged to Ham. These registered by name came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and destroyed their tents and the Meonites who were found there, and marked them for destruction to this day, and settled in their place, because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them, five hundred men of the Simeonites, went to Mount Seir, having as their leaders Palatiah, Neriah, Raphaiah, and Uziel, the son of Ishi, sons of Ishi. And they defeated the remnant of the Amalekites, who had escaped, and they lived there to this day. First Chronicles chapter 5 Descendants of Reuben The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn because he defiled his father's couch. His birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, so that he could not be enrolled as the oldest son. Though Judah became strong among his brothers, and a chief came from him, yet the birthright belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son, Micah his son, Rayan his son, Baal his son, Bera his son, whom Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, carried away into exile. He was a chief of the Reubenites. And his kinsmen by their clans when the genealogy of the generations was recorded. The chief Jeriel and Zechariah, and Bela the son of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Joel, who lived in Aror as far as Neb Nebo and baal Meon. He also lived to the east as far as the entrance of the desert, this side of the Euphrates, because their livestock had multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul they waged war against the Hagrites, who fell into their hand, and they lived in their tents throughout all the region east of Gilead. Descendants of Gad The sons of Gad lived over against them in the land of Bashan as far as Selka. Joel the chief, Shapham the second, Janai and Shaphat in Bashan, and their kinsmen according to their father's houses, Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jachan, Zia, and Eber, seven. These were the sons of Abihail, the son of Huri, son of Jeroah, son of Gilead, son of Michael, son of Jehoashai, son of Jado, son of Buz. Ahi, the son of Abdiel, son of Guni, was the chief of the father's houses, and they lived in Gilead, in Bashan and its towns, and in all the pasture lands of Sharon to their limits. All of these were recorded in the genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The Reubenites, the Gadites, the half-tribe of Manasseh had valiant men who carried shield and sword and drew the bow, expert in war, 44,760, able to go to war. They waged war against the Hagrites, Jetur, Naphish, and Nodab. And when they prevailed over them, the Hagrites and all who were with them were given into their hands, for they cried out to God in the battle. And he granted their urgent plea because they trusted in him. They carried off their livestock, 50,000 of their camels, 250,000 sheep, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 men alive. For many fell because the war was of God, and they lived in their place until the exile. The Half-Tribe of Manasseh The members of the Half-Tribe of Manasseh lived in the land. They were very numerous from Bashan to Baal Hermon, Sinir the Mount Hermon. These were the heads of their father's houses, Ephor, Ishi, Eliel, Azriel, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel. Mighty warriors, famous men, heads of their father's houses.
But they broke faith with the God of their fathers and whored after the gods of the people of the land, whom God had destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, the spirit of tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, and he took them into exile, namely the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and they brought them to Hala, Habor, Hera, and the river Gozan to this day. First Chronicles chapter 6 Descendants of Levi The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Moriah. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amram, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, Ithamar, Eleazar, fathered Phineas. Phineas fathered Abishua. Abishua fathered Buki. Buki fathered Uzi. Uzi fathered Zerahiah. Zerahiah fathered Marioth. Marioth fathered Amariah. Amariah fathered Ahitub. Ahitub fathered Zadok. Zadok fathered Amahaz. Ahimaz. Ahimaz fathered Azariah. Azariah fathered jo jo Johanan. And Johanan fathered Azariah. It was he who served as priest in the house that Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah fathered Amariah. Amariah fathered Ahitub. Ahitub fathered Zadok. Zadok fathered Shalom. Shalom fathered Hilkiah. Hilkiah fathered Azariah. Azariah fathered Sarariah. Sarariah fathered Jeho Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into exile when the Lord sent Judah and Jerusalem into exile by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari. And these are the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Ishhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi. These are the clans of the Levites, according to their fathers. Of Gershom, Libni, his son, Jehath, his son, Zimma, his son, Joah his son, Ido his son, Zerah his son, Jeathare his son, the sons of Kohath, Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Aser his son, Elkanah his son, Abiasaph his son, Aser his son, Tahath his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shal his son. The sons of Elkanah, Amasai, Ahimoth, Elkanah his son, Zophai his son, Nahath his son, Eliab his son, Jeroham his son, Elkanah his son. The sons of Samuel, Joel his firstborn, the son of Abijah, the son of Merari, Mali, Libni his son, Shimei his son, Uzzah his son, Shemiah his son, Haggiah his son, and Aziah his son. These are the men whom David put in charge of the service of song, in the house of the Lord, after the ark rested there. They ministered with song before the tabernacle of the tent of meeting until Solomon built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And they performed the service according to their order. These are the men who served and their sons of the sons of Kohathites, Heman, the singer of Joel, singer, the singer, the son of Joel, son of Samuel, son of Elkanah, son of Jeroham, son of Eliel, son of Toa, son of Zaph, son of Elkanah, son of Mahath, son of Amasai, son of El Elkanah, son of Joel, son of Azariah, son of Zephaniah, son of Tahath, son of Aser, son of Abiasaph, son of Korah, son of Izhar, son of Kohath, son of Levi, son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, who, took, who stood on his right hand, namely Asaph, the son of Berechiah, son of Shimei, son of Michael, son of Beishia, son of Malchadja, son of Ethni, son of Zerah, son of Ad Adiah, son of Ethan, son of Zimma, son of Shimei, son of Juthath, son of Gershom, son of Levi. On the left hand were their brothers, the son of Merari, Ethan, the son of Kishi, son of Abdi, son of Malak, son of Hashabiah, son of Amaziah, son of Hilkiah, 
son of Amzi, son of Bani, son of Shemer, son of Mali, son of Mushi, son of Merari, son of Levi. And the brothers, the Levites, were appointed for all the service of the tabernacle in the house of God. But Aaron and his sons made offerings on the altar of burnt offerings and on the altar of the incense for all the work of the most holy place. And, the make, and to make atonement for Israel according to all that Moses, the servant God, had commanded. These are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zerahua, Zerahiah his son, Marioth his son, Amariah his son, Ahitub his son, Zadok his son, Am Ahimaaz his son. These are their dwelling places according to the settlements within their borders to the sons of Aaron and the clans of Kohathites, for theirs was the first lot. To them they gave Hebron in the land of Judah and its surrounding pasture lands, but the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. To the sons of Aaron they gave the cities of refuge, Hebron, Libna with its pasture lands, Jatir, Ashtamoa with its pasture lands, Helen with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, Ashan with its pasture lands, and Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon, Geba with its pasture lands, Alameth with its pasture lands, and Anathoth with its pasture lands. All their cities throughout their clans were thirteen. So the rest of the Kohathites were given by lot out of the clan and the of the tribe, out of the half tribe, the half of Manasseh, ten cities. To the Gershomites, according to their clans, were allotted thirteen cities out of the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Manasseh in Bashan. To the Merarites, according to their clans, were allotted twelve cities out of the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the people of Israel gave the Levites the cities with their pasture lands. They gave by lot out of the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, these cities that are mentioned by name. And some of the clans of the sons of Kohath had cities of their territory out of the tribe of Ephraim. They were given the cities of refuge, Shechem with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer with its pasture lands, Jokmim with its pasture lands, Beth Horon with its pasture lands, Aijalon with its pasture lands, Gath Rimon with its pasture lands. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Anur with its pasture lands, and Bilium with its pasture lands, for the rest of the clans of the Kohathites. Two, the Germa Gershomites were given out of the clan of the half tribe of Man Manasseh, Golan and Bashan with its pasture lands, and Ashtaroth with its pasture lands, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh with its pasture lands, Dabarath with its pasture lands, Ramoth with its pasture lands, and Anam with its pasture lands, out of the tribe of Asher, Mashal with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Hukok with its pasture lands, and Rehob with its pasture lands, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, Hamon with its pasture lands, and Kiriathim with its pasture lands, till the rest of the Merorites were allotted out of the tribe of Zebulun, Ramono with its pasture lands, Tabor with its pasture lands, and beyond the Jordan at Jericho on the east side of the Jordan, out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with its pasture lands, Jaza with its pasture lands, Kedemoth with its pasture lands, and Maphath with its pasture lands, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with its pasture lands, Mahanaim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, and Jazer with its pasture lands. First Chronicles chapter 7 Descendants of Issachar The sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, four. The sons of Tola, Uzi, Raphiah, Jerial, Jameh, Ibsam, and Shemuel, heads of their father's houses, namely of Tola, mighty warriors of their generations, their number in the days of David being 22,600. The son of Uzi, Ezrahiah, and the sons of I, Ezrahiah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, Issachiah, all five of them were chief men, and along with them, by their generations, according to their father's houses, were units of the army of war, 36,000, for they had many wives and sons. Their kinsmen, belonging to all the clans of Issachar, were all 87,000 mighty warriors, 
enrolled by genealogy. Descendants of Benjamin. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, Becher, and Jadiel, three. The sons of Bela, Esbon, Uzi, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Eri, five heads of fathers' houses, mighty warriors. And their enrollment by genealogies was 22,034. The sons of Becher, Zemara, Joash, Eliezer, Elioni, Omri, Jeremoth, Abajai, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these were the sons of Becher and their enrollments by their genealogies according to their generations as heads of their fathers' houses, mighty warriors, was 22,200. The son of Jadiel, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Jeosh, Benjamin, Ehud, Chenayana, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahisha Ahar. All these were the sons of Jadiel, according to the heads of their father's houses, mighty warriors, 17,200, able to go to war. And Shuppim and Huppim were the sons of Ur, Hashim the son of Ahar. Descendants of Naphtali. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Guni, Jezer, and Shalom, the descendants of Bilhal. Descendants of Manasseh. The sons of Manasseh, Azrael, whom his Aramean concubine bore, she bore Matcher, the father of Gilead, and Matcher took a wife for Huppim and for Shuppim. The name of his sister was Mecha, and the name of the second was Zelophehad. Zelophehad had daughters, and Mecha, the wife of Matcher, bore a son, and she called his name Perish, and the name of his brother was Sherish, and his sons were Ulam and Rakim. The son of Ulam, Bedin, these were the sons of Gilead, uh, the son of Matcher, son of Manasseh, and his sister Hamalocheth bore Ishhad, Abiezer, Hamala, the sons of Shemada were Ahain, Shechem, Liki, and Anaim. Descendants of Ephraim. The sons of Ephraim, Shuthala, and Bered his son, Tahath his son, Aliada his son, Tahath his son, Zabad his son, Shuthala his son, and Ezer and Eliad, whom the men of Gath were born in the land killed, because they came down to raid their livestock. And Ephraim the father mourned many days, and his brother came to comfort him. And Ephraim went in to his wife, and she conceived and bore a son. And he called his name Beriah, because disaster had befallen his house. His daughter was Shira, who built both lower and upper Beth Horon, and Uzan Shira. Rephath was his son, Reth Reshef his son, Tela his son, Tahan his son, Ladan his son, Amahad his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, Joshua his son. Their possessions and settlements were Bethel and its towns, and to the east, Naran, and the west, Gezer, and its towns, Shechem and its towns, and Aya and its towns, also in possession of the Manasites, Bethshin and its towns, Tainach and its towns, Megiddo and its towns, Dor and its towns, in these in these lived the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. Descendants of Asher. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, Beriah, and their sister, Sarah. The sons of Beriah, Heber, and Malchiel, who fathered Berzath. Heber fathered Japhlet, Shomer, Hotham, and their sister, Shua. The sons of Japhlet, Pasach, Bimhal, and Ashvath. These are the sons of Japhlet. The sons of Shemer, his brother, Raga, Jehuba, and Aram. The sons of Helam, his brother, Zopha, Imna, Shalash, and Amel. The sons of Zopha, Shua, Hamphler, Shual, Bera, Imra, Bezer, Hod, Shama, Shilsa, Ithran, and Bira. The sons of Jether, Jephuna, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ula. Era, Hamiel, and Rizayah. All these were the men of Asher, heads of the fathers' houses, approved mighty warriors, chiefs of the princes. Their numbers enrolled by the genealogies for service in the war was 26,000 men. First Chronicles chapter 8. 
the genealogy of Saul. Benjamin fathered Bela, his firstborn, Ashbel the second, Ahara the third, Nohath the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. And Bela had sons, Adar, Gera, Habahad, Abashua, Naaman, Ahoah, Jera, Shaphuphan, and Huram. These are the sons of Ehud. They were the heads of the father's houses and the inhabitants of Geba, and they were carried into exile to Manahath. Naaman, Ahijah, and Jera, that is, Heglam, who fathered Uzzah and Ahihad, and Sheraharim fathered sons in the country of Moab after he sent them away, Hushim and Bera, his wives. He fathered sons by Hodash, his wife, Jobab, Zibia, Mesha, Malcolm, Jeuz, Sakia, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of the father's houses. He also fathered sons by Hushim, Abitub, and Ilpal. The sons of Ilpal, Eber, Misham, and Shemed, who built Ono and Lod with its towns, and Beriah and Shema, they were heads of the father's houses of the inhabitants of Ijalon, who caused the inhabitants of Gath to flee, and Ahio, Shashak, and Jeremoth, Zabadiah, Zabadiah, Ered, Eder, Michael, Ishpa, and Joha were sons of Bariah, Zabadiah, Meshulam, Hezki, Heber, Ishmeriah, Isleah, Jobab were sons of Elpal, Jacob, Zikri, Zabdi, Eliani, Zelathai, Eliel, Adiah, Beriah, and Shimrath were the sons of Shimei, Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zitri, Hanan, Hananiah, Eliam, Elam, and Thothajah, Ephdiah, and Penuel were the sons of Shashak, Shamsharai, Shamshariah, Athaliah, Jerashariah, Elijah, and Zitri were sons of Jeho Jerohem. These were the heads of the fathers' houses, according to their generations, chief men. These lived in Jerusalem. Jael, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon, and the name of his wife was Mekah. His firstborn son, Abdon, then Zer, Kish, Baal, Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zetcher, and Mikloth. He fathered Shemia. Now these all also lived opposite their kinsmen in Jerusalem with their kinsmen. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish of Saul, Saul of Jonathan, Mal Malchishua, Abinadab, and Ashbael. The son of Jonathan was Merib Baal, and Merib Baal was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Malek, Teriah, and Ahaz. Ahaz fathered Jehoiada, and Jehoiada fathered Alameth, Asma, Asma, Feth, and Zimri. Zimri fathered Moza. Moza fathered Benia. Raphaph was his son. Eli Eliasa, his son. Az Azel, his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names. Azakrakem, Bocheru, Ishmael, Shiriah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel, the sons of Eshek, his brother, Ulem, his firstborn, Jewish the second, and Eliphelet the third. The sons of Ulam were the men who were mighty warriors, bowmen having many sons and grandsons, 150. All these were Benjaminites. First Chronicles chapter 9, a genealogy of the returned exiles. So all Israel was recorded in genealogies, and these are written in the book of kings of Israel, and Judah was taken into exile in Babylon because of their breach of faith. Now the first to dwell again in their possessions in their cities were Israel, the priests, the Levites, and the temple servants. And some of the people of Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh, lived in Jerusalem. Uthai, the son of Amhad, son of Omri, son of Imri, son of Bani, and the sons of Perez, the son of Judah, and of the Sh Shelonites, Asiah, the firstborn, and his sons. Of the sons of Zerah, Jewel, and the kinsmen, 690. Of the Benjaminites, Salu, and the son of Meshulam, son of Hodaviah, son of Hasanua, Ebneah, the son of Johem, Jerohem, Elah, the son of Uzi, son of Mitri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephtatiah, 
son of Ruel, son of Ibajana, and their kinsmen, according to their generations, 956. All these were heads of the fathers' houses according to their fathers' houses. Of the priests, Jedaiah, Harorarib, Jachin, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Zadok, son of Merial, son of ha Ahitub, the chief officer of the house of God, and Adaiah, the son of Jer Jeroham, son of Pashur, son of Malchijah, and Mesa, the son of Adiel, son of Jazera, son of Melashum, Meshulam, son of Meshulamath, son of Immer, besides their kinsmen, heads of their fathers' houses, 1,760 mighty men for the work of the service of the house of God. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashab, son of Azrakam, son of Hashabiah, the sons of Merari, Merari and Bakbakar, Harish, Galal, and Matana, the son of Micah, son of Zitri, son of Asaph, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, son of Galal, son of Judathan, and Berachiah, son of Asa, son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netophathites. The gatekeepers were Shalom, Echab, Talmon, Ahiman, and their kinsmen. Shalom was the chief, until they were in the king's gate on the east side as the gatekeepers of the camps of the Levites. Shalom, the son of Kor, son of Abiashaph, son of Korah, and his kinsmen of his father's house, the Korahites, were in, were in charge of the work of the service keepers of the household of the tent, as their fathers had been in charge of the camp of the Lord, keepers of the entrance. And Phineas, the son of Eleazar, was his chief officer over them in the time past. The Lord was with him. Zechariah, the son of Meshalemiah, Meshalemiah was gatekeeper at the entrance of the tent of meeting. All these who were chosen as gatekeepers at the thresholds were 212. They were enrolled by genealogies in their villages. David and Samuel the seer established them in, the, in their tr office of trust. So they and their sons were in charge of the gates of the house of the Lord, that is, the house of the tent as guards. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south, and their kinsmen who were in their villages were obligated to come in every seven days in turn to be with these. For the four chief gatekeepers who were Levites were entrusted to be over the chambers and the treasures of the house of God. And they lodged around the house of God, for on them lay the duty of watching, and, and they had charge of opening it every morning. Some of them had charge of the utensils of service, for they were required to count them and when they were brought in and taken out. Others of them were appointed over the furniture and over all the holy utensils, also over the fine, fine flour, the wine, the oil, the incense, and the spices. Others of the sons of the priests prepared the mixing of the spices, and Mattathiah, one of the Levites, the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, was entrusted with making the flat cakes. Also some of their kinsmen of the Korahites had charge of the showbread to prepare it every Sabbath. Now these, the singers, the heads, of fathers' houses of the Levites were in the chambers of the tent temple free from other service, for they were on duty day and night. These were the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites, according to their generation's leaders. These lived in Jerusalem. Saul's genealogy repeated. In Gibeon lived the father of Gibeon, Jeriel, Jael, and the name of his wife, Mekah, and his firstborn son, Abdon, then Zer, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Gedor, Ohio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth was the father of Shemim. And these, and these also lived opposite their kinsmen in Jerusalem with their kinsmen. Ner fathered Kish, Kish fathered Saul, Saul fathered Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Merib Baal, and Merib Baal fathered Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Mal Malak, Taria, and Ahaz. And Ahaz fathered Jera, and Jera fathered Alameth, Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri fathered Mo Moza. Moza fathered Benea, 
and Raphael was his son, Eliasa his son, Azel his son. Azel had six sons, and these are their names, Azrakam, Bocheru, Ishmael, Shiriah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.